Alrighty, so starting off this episode of uh, Pokemon Red, I grinded my ba my Squirtle to level 8, and actually it's going to learn Bubbles, so uh, I thought I'd do that a little grindy in between uh, parts, so I'll see you guys after the video. What's going on, guys, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Red. In the last part, uh, we basically, uh, we defeated, we, we started the whole game, picked our starter, and went through Pallet Town and all that, and this part we're going to Viridian City, and uh, interesting thing is, uh, we're gonna, in this part, we're going to go to explore for any And Also, on top of that, um, now here's the thing why I recommend all for collecting those potions. Uh, in Generation 1, in this point in the game, you cannot actually buy uh, potions. So, yeah, be, just get all the potions you can and all that. So, uh, I bought a few Pokeballs because even though it's not going to be a team member, I'm going to catch this particular Pokemon on the next route for a very particular reason, but, uh... Anyway, so this is the, uh, potion. So, uh, there's a hidden potion right here. So, uh, what we're gonna do now is, uh... We're gonna go to this route over here, and it's, uh, Route 22. And now, also, I had a failed take of this, also. I do not want to go much into this, but, uh, this is Route 22. So, uh, we're not... You don't have... You can actually skip this route entirely, but, um... Now, um, the new Pokemon you can find on this route are, uh, Nidoran Male and Nidoran Female, and the encounter rate you're gonna find them in depends on the version you're playing. If you're playing the red version, the Nidoran Male is more common to find, and, uh, the Nidoran Female is the harder one to find. And if you're playing the blue version, it's the opposite. Nidoran Female is more common to find, and the Nidoran Male is the harder one to find. Now, there is a Pokemon I would like to catch on this route. I'm not going to exactly use it on my team, but for different purposes. And Bowser's level 11. And Bowser's level 12. Still haven't found the Pokemon yet. And what do you know? I find it the very next encounter. Now, Spearow is a great candidate for one of the best flying types in the game. I am, however, not going to use this on my team. I'm going to use this for a completely different purpose later on. And uh, this is going to be the first actual uh, Pokemon we're going to catch in the game. But, uh, yeah, we're not really going to use this on our team because I've thought about using Spear on my team. I've used it so many other playthroughs, so I want to kind of stand out a bit. But uh, it's a really solid flying type. It's a really good early game Pokemon to take out grass types. But I'm actually... I'm actually going to go heal really quickly. And while I'm at the Pokemon Center, I'm actually going to go demonstrate quickly uh, what happens. I chased after this Spearow for like t 10 minutes because Spearow has a 10% encounter rate, which actually isn't that bad. But uh, it did take me like maybe 10 minutes to catch the Spearow. But uh, now um, we're going to actually... Um, actually, I'm going to keep the Spearow in my party just for now. But if you want to take out any... Uh, Pokemon out of your party, you just put them in the PC and all that. You can, you can't just auto put it like you can in the newer games, like, uh, or you can't just do it in the menu like you can do in the newer games, but, uh, now there's going to be one battle here that's the reason I had a failed take because I was not successful in completing this battle anyway, so, um, hey bear, you're going to Pokemon League? Forget it, you probably don't have any badges, the guard won't let you through. But by the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? And Blue wants to fight. Blue sent out Pidgey. Now, his Pidgey knows Sand Attack, which can uh, lower accuracy and all that. So, my advice is to use Bubble. It's probably going to inevitably use Sand Attack since it's Gemma. Actually, it's going straight for Gust, but uh, it's doing 5 damage. So, um, I was also at a much lower level in the failed take. So, hopefully this goes smoother. And actually, uh, I'm just hitting him to start the lower accuracy. And however, um... My Pokemon lock is not very good. Like, um, yeah, I just missed right there, but, uh. Oh my god. Now, there are conflict. Okay, okay, here's the thing. There are conflicting opinions on whether or not to use items in battle. I like to use items in battle mainly as a last resort, because, yeah, it's gonna go straight to the sand tower. I will, however, show a trick to get around this when the Pidgey is taken out, but, uh, one more hit and it's taken out, but, uh, yeah, stand attack four times, not looking good. Yeah, that's another critical hit, but, uh, can I hit the goddamn Pidgey? That's five stand attacks, alright. 
This get the Pidgey is making sure I do not take this down, but uh. Oh my god! That's six sand attacks. Come on, one hit, one hit. Come on, no! Well, I gotta use one of my other potions. This is why I recommend getting the potions, because this Pidgey is particularly annoying because it loves to use sand attack because yeah. It's I think it's the maximum amount of times I can use sand attack. And can I just lay down one goddamn hit? Please, please. Please, can I lay down a hit? Yeah, my poke. You're starting to witness this right now, but every single time it's missing now. Gen 1 Pidgeys love to spam Sand Attack. Come on! Lay down a goddamn hit. Come on. This is my last potion. I would like to use it on the next Pokemon, but uh... Yeah, it can't even use it anymore. Come on. Alright, there we go. There we go. God, that was annoying. Anyway, so Bubbles, one trick you can do to get get your accuracy back is just switch out Pokemon. Also, I'm going to try to see if I can beat the odds with this Spiro. All it knows is Peck, but, uh... Yeah, we're not going to beat the odds with this. Let, let's try to see if we can take out a significant amount of damage. Because Bulbasaur is, is a weak to, uh... Line. So if we can take out a Sydney from my damage, that's all that matters. We took out half his damage, so we're gonna finish him off with Squirtle, but uh Yeah, so we're just gonna take out we're gonna finish him off with a uh, Bowser. So uh our accuracy is back now that we switched out, so uh we just, uh, one more hit will take him out, but, um, like that. See, this battle isn't really that complicated. I just don't really do it with one Pokemon, but, uh... Aw, you just lucked out. I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dwindling and get a move on. Now, if you try going to Pokemon League, since we don't have any badges, uh, we cannot really do much there, so, uh... What we're going to do now is uh, go back to Viridian City, Vermilion City. And now I'm actually going to put that uh, beer on the PC because I don't really have much use for it right now. Unfortunately, because it's not going to be a team member. So, uh... So we're going to heal our Pokemon. So say you don't have any Pokemon. Say you have any Pokemon you just don't want to get out of your party. You go to this PC and uh, go to someone's PC. And then just deposit Spiro. We're gonna need to get him back. We're get him back out later, but uh, yeah. So now we can actually uh, go north and actually um, we can actually go now. We can actually go further north and uh, now the new Pokemon you can find on this route. This route is uh, hold on. This route is uh. Route 2. So, uh, new Pokemon you found on Route 2 is Weedle, and it's actually Caterpie if you're playing the blue version, but, uh... Anyway, so, uh, and this right here is, uh... Let's check out the town map. Actually, let's say parent tabs. Actually, no, this doesn't say what it is. But, uh, if we check out the town map, it is, uh, Radiant Forest. So, uh, yeah, there's several new Pokemon you can find on this route. Um, you can find... Caterpie, and you can find Weedle, and they again the encounter rates depend on version. If you're playing the red version, Weedle's gonna be more easy to com more common, where Caterpie's gonna be harder to find. If you're playing the blue version, the opposite, Caterpie's hard, we Weedle's harder to find. Caterpie's easier. Also, you can find Pikachu on this route, but it's really rare. It has a five percent encounter. All the new trainer battle. Hey, you have a Pokemon? Come on, let's battle them. Um. That's the first of the trainer battles. Now, um. We're gonna finally weedle now. This is the reason I bought a bunch of antidotes back in uh, Viridian City. Now, um, we are gonna be significantly over level this part of the game because I did a lot of off speed grinding. Plus, we only have one team member. So, um, at level 15, Bowser's gonna learn a new move. So, uh, about level 13. So, uh, maybe we might even reach level 15 by, by this time this video ends. But, um, Anyway, so, um, we're just gonna get a Caterpie, we're just gonna kill the Caterpie, and, uh, yeah. 
Greater battles are also going to give you significantly more XP than uh, wild encounters in the older games, at least. But anyway, so, um, you can also find Kakuna on this route in Metapod, but they just, all they know is Harden, so... My rec my strong recommendation is just catch them as a Caterpie, because, uh, you screw out of moves, you just catch them as Metapod, because all I know is Harden. Anyway, so Weedle does no Poison Sting and has a 10% chance of poisoning, so, uh... Because of that, I would honestly recommend just buying a bunch of antidotes. And I think we even get one in this uh, area. Now we don't level 7, so it should be a Kakuna. There is a Kakuna in this battle, but uh, Kakuna is going to give a lot of XP. So it's a really good place to train like a Charmander or a Spearow, because by then you should know Ember. Now we should all forget we might even get a level up through this also, but uh I'm not hundred percent sure, but um I might even off screen level up in between parts so I can get the uh, move I want, but uh I haven't gotten poison yet, thankfully, which is a great sign, because normally when I play this normal, I get poisoned a lot. Yeah, Gen 1 cat weedles off these like string shower slowers your speed, so uh We did not level up unfortunately, but uh Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is, uh, got an antidote. So that's a great case in case we're poison, but, um... Now, one thing about Burning Force that can take a while for Wild Encounter to happen, like, now, but, uh... Yeah, this is just a Weedle, so, uh... I figured out that any- I figured that any new Pokémon I'll show and any po repeat Pokémon that are Wild Encounter will just cut out of the video, so, uh... They're gonna poison me. It's not gonna poison me, actually. I'm having a lucky day. I'm kinda having a lucky day today. It's kinda 50 50, but, um. Anyways, we're level 14, so one more level we'll learn Water Gun. So, uh. I wanna try to see if we can learn that before we go to the first gym, because Water Gun is like Bubble, only it's a stronger attack. So, uh. Now, uh. There's a Kakuna. So, Wild Kakunas will give a ton of XP. I think this, uh. This wild you know, since level 4 is going to give like 40 XP, so this is a really good grinding spot for those reasons alone. Anyway, so this is the last time I hey, we're up, what's the hurry? So, uh... Anyway, so this bug catcher is going to have a, uh... Also, the trainers don't... It has a Weedle that's level 9, which should be a Kakuna, but, uh... Trainers also don't have names, Generation 1. Also, in Generation 1, Pokemon don't have genders. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of interesting things. Generation 1 is an interesting thing, because even though it's the start, it's the same way the original Super Mario Brothers was. Like, uh, there's a lot of ways to break that game, too. So, uh, yeah, it's a common thing. Old games tend to be buggy, let's just say, yeah. But, um, yeah, but, like, um... The original Super Mario Bros. was by far, was far from the most polished of Mario games, but it was definitely a good starting point. I, I definitely treat the same way with Gen 1 with Pokemon. But anyway, so uh, now we're out of uh, Breeding Forest, and... Uh, now, um, this route right here, if we check the town map, is, uh, route, is still Route 2. So, uh, yeah, so it's the same new Pokemon as before, but... Uh, anyway, so this is... Uh, if we check the town map... This is Pewter City, so, uh, we're just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna cut it off for this part of Pokemon Red, so, uh, next time Pokemon Red, we're gonna tackle Pewter City, and we'll see what we can do there, so see you guys then.